hey guys welcome back to my vlog channel so for today's video i'm gonna be bringing you guys along with me to my show slash club appearance slash performance here in tracy we actually just arrived here in tracy it was a six hour drive and it's funny because emmanuel knows i hate long drives and he tried to trick me by telling me that it's a five hour drive but in reality it was six and a half hours girl like literally my grandma is in stockton 20 like it's like 20 to 30 minutes away from here girl i just cannot stand being in a car for a long time but luckily right now i'm watching um fear the walking dead so it's a new series that i'm watching so thank god for that anyway so we're here right now just doing like a little fitting trying to figure out what to wear for tomorrow this is one of the wig options for tomorrow and i'm really excited because i feel like this is giving me very um brought up the pink lamborghini just to brace with china real thick vagina like i feel like it's giving very much that and i'm here for it because i know that like there's going to be nobody else wearing like a bright ass red wig like this very female ronald mcdonald and i'm here for it so right now we're just gonna try on some shoes i'm thinking i'm gonna try these on i don't know why but it feels like this outfit is turning out to be a like hood rat type you know like hood rich female type of outfit neil stop that we brought the dogs with us they did really good on the road trip so yeah um we're kind of trying to figure everything out today so that way tomorrow it can be just like a relaxed day i do want to do my makeup early i was gonna hire a makeup artist but at this point um the girls just took a while to like respond so i want to like spend time with my grandma tomorrow so tomorrow i'd rather spend the day with my grandma and then i'll just do my makeup like really really quick i probably might even do my makeup at my grandma's house i don't know but um i was really really nervous for yesterday because i we just i always usually have like panic attacks because it, it it's always hard trying to pick out the makeup and pick out the hair and pick out what outfits to wear what jewelry to bring but um for the most part i feel like we have everything under control so i'm gonna go ahead and try these on how was the drive not bad not bad not bad at all Six hours. Emmanuel's a professional driver. He drives anywhere. Like he could drive 24 hours if he could. So I went ahead and touched up my tan. I did tan yesterday, but I just wanted to like touch up a little bit more because I noticed that um, with the moose tans, como que no agarra color mis pechos. So um, the two colors that I mixed for my tan is loving tan in the shade medium and then bondi sands in ultra dark because i just couldn't decide which shade i wanted um and then i always sometimes like if i want to touch up a little bit and just be extra dark i'll just go ahead and spray this on top so just like a little cocktail of all of these tans so this is currently what i look like i'm in my tanning pajamas and then i just threw this shirt over it um just to have like extra coverage for nighttime so that way it doesn't like spread all over the bed. And the dogs are here. Oh, I couldn't find my phone. You guys better not be shitting around the house. Are you listening? Bibi, are you listening? They were so thirsty when they got here. Ooh, they have some nuggets inside of their little house. We fed them a little bit of McDonald's. <laughs> what, guys? What? She's crazy. She's crazy. She gets all freaking excited. What, Nino? What? I packed a bunch of snacks. I packed some um vix cough drops some cookies for manny and then these are the cookies that i've been super into i bought these off of tiktok shop um they are plant-based chocolate chip cookies and they're made with like no artificial sweeteners they have eight grams of protein they are a little bit on the high calorie side so it says for half a cookie is 120 calories but um obviously you double that and that's going to be 240 calories um but it has like almond butter, coconut sugar, organic oat flour. 
vegan chocolate chips. Like it's just like a really good healthy cookie, and I've been super into these. I usually have one of these for breakfast if I don't know what else to eat. Um, I brought Manny his iron gummies because he um, the last time he got his blood work done, he, he was low on iron. I bought him some um, pan bimbo because he loves peanut butter sandwiches. I brought him some popcorn because he loves popcorn and then some peanut butter cookies for whenever he doesn't know what else to snack on. I also mood... Niños right here just watching me. Um, I also brought some medication, some teas. Um, right now I'm staying away from caffeine because you guys know that I've been super sick. And I'm just trying to do the best that I can to like be prepared for tomorrow. I did bring some Aleve liquid gels and ibuprofen and also some Unisun sleeping um, pills. Because sometimes when I have a show or anything like that, I get super nervous and my anxiety gets the best of me. Um, let me show you guys what I packed in the cooler. We already went ahead and put everything in the fridge. Brought Manny these little squeezy apple sauces. He really loves these. And a bunch of apples because if you know Manny, he's obsessed with apples and he eats about two apples a day. I also brought some oranges uh, for myself just in case I get hungry because I have been trying to eat a little bit healthier. I bought some bubblies. I did not know that they had the pineapple flavor. So I got one of those and of course some Gatorade because you just never know when you're going to need some electrolytes. I brought some coconut milk for coffee if anybody wants to drink that in the morning. Um, I like my um, coffee with coconut milk or my smoothies but I didn't bring any frozen fruit. And then I also brought these Premier, Premier Proteins because usually when I have a show or anything like that I get really really bad anxiety like I said so usually sometimes I will only be able to handle this in my stomach so I bring those along um, and then I brought some 7up zero sugar because we're trying to watch our calorie intake and then also fresh pineapple juice with celery to help with my inflammation because you guys know that I've been having like inflammation in my body and it's been just a freaking mess of course we brought some waters and an energy drink for emmanuel or krina because they like energy drinks and also some sparkling water because emmanuel really loves those so that's our tour of the fridge so that's that and yeah that's pretty much it moo dude nino is like my biggest fan honey nino honey nino you're my biggest fan you're my biggest fan, Nino. Bibi always gets jealous of Nino, so she's like, are you giving Nino attention and not me? Nino always has to have a diaper on because he's a boy and boys love to just pee everywhere. That's like their favorite thing to do is pee. It's literally like I have a child, but that's the only way we can have him living in the house because he will literally pee everywhere and this has been the lifesaver for me. And he wears a size four. Manny's hella happy right now because they have fans in the house. So you could just imagine how excited he is. Look, when we're at Airbnbs, this is all he does. Dude, earlier he was standing on top of the table and he was like this far away from the fan. Well, let's go ahead and brush our teeth, you guys, and get ready to go to sleep. I need to give Manny his melatonin because I know for a fact that he is not gonna want to go to sleep uh so this is where i have all of my toiletry stuff this is the shampoo that i usually take with me when i travel yeah casi se me acaba so i'm gonna have to find another travel shampoo um i just recently bought the onion rosemary so i kind of wanted to bring that but i was super lazy to like try to pour it into a different container and then the perfume of choice for this trip is yara you guys this is my favorite perfume of the moment this is literally the best you know how yara has came out with other flavors other scents girl don't get any other one besides this one because i had the red one and then i also bought the mango one and they're just they don't give what this gives this is like a vanilla sweet cotton candy muchacha scent like oh it smells so good not literally like cotton candy but it's just like sweet and then the lotion that i'm going to be wearing is called pure seduction um, this one smells really good. This one's by Victoria's Secret. I don't really like this toothpaste. I like this one better.
Good morning, everyone. I just threw on my wig. She looks a little bit crazy. So if you guys see the lace, just mind your business. Um, anyways, I woke up feeling super dizzy today. Um, you guys know that I've been like sick recently and I'm on a medication. So there are days where I wake up with pain. There are days that I wake up with tingling. There are days that I wake up with burning. There are days that I wake up with dizziness. And today is just one of those days that I'm waking up with dizziness. I do have to take my medication again at 10, which is like right now. I brought a cookie so I could like at least drink it with the cookie. Um, but anyways, so today we are actually on our way to go visit my grandma in Stockton. Since we're in Tracy, it's only 37 minutes away and I just, there's no way that I couldn't be this close to my grandma and not go visit her. So I'm really excited to visit her. We brought the dogs with us as well. We're a little bit nervous because my dog, ha my grandma has a crazy ass dog. His name is, um, babe, what's my grandma's dog's name? Also, <laughs> I can't believe that I forgot his name, you guys. I think it's just because, like, I have foggy, like, I have foggy mind. Yeah, so his name is also, so we are a little bit nervous about that. Um, but I'm just going to tell my grandma to put him away because I feel like he low-key would attack them. Um, yeah. You, you feel like he would attack them? He is. He's like me. He attacks me. Yeah, he attacks, he attacks even my grandma. Like, he would trip on her, like, low-key. He's just, like, porosito, like... He has like PTSD for something, I don't know. I did get enough sleep. I made sure to get my eight hours because today is gonna be a long day. Um, my DJ is gonna be coming over later too. We're gonna figure out our set list. And since I barely picked out my outfit from last night, if you guys remember that I um, showed you guys like little updates of yesterday, we ended up picking out an outfit that's very urban. So now I'm kind of feeling like we should do an urban um, set list. But I'm just kind of like, what should I perform? Let me look at my stories because I did actually ask you guys on my stories what you guys wanted me to perform. It is a reggaeton fest, so then it's kind of like, you know, I think it needs to be reggaeton vibes. So they're saying Patra. I got my little notification for me to take my medicine. If you guys are taking a lot of medicines or are not good at taking your medicines, you guys should download this app. It's called... Max. Oh, it's called Max. So you see the little pollito? It's called Max. And I think you get to choose your own little... Um, you get to choose your own little character. I don't think it's just a pollito. And then um, these are just all my medicines that I have to take at different times of the day. So I'm always, always forgetting. And I just got my reminder. And he will literally call you. Like, you could set up to where it'll call you. It's weird because like if you answer just a pollito like chirping, it's weird. Um, it's a little scary, honestly. They're saying patra, um, perra malvada, but these are from my friends, so they don't count, pobrecitos. Like they're like, you know, being supportive friends. Um, Papaya, don't lie to me. The remix of, of Sexy Red, I'm definitely gonna do the remix of Sexy Red. It's giving very that. Y la queso. Mañana trabajo, mucho no vibes, la 69 perreo mix patra. Okay, they want very like party vibes. So they want this one. I don't know what's gonna happen as far as like me drinking tonight like i'm still trying to decide if i'm gonna drink but honestly you guys like i feel like i can't drink not even one little sip of alcohol like genuinely this is so good you guys this is pineapple juice with celery it's fresh we made it from the tiktok shop juicer mode there goes also he's just staring at us dude with his evil eye. He's just watching it. I know. Also. Also. He is not budging. Also. Hi, Walita. 
Y ya llegamos. No. No. Trajimos los perros. Sí. Ah, pásense. Pero ¿crees que oso los va a atacar? No sé. Traicionamos a oso. Míralo. Mira ah, el niño también, míralo. Oh, oh. Niño. ¿Crees que los vaya a morder? No creo, pero... ¿Quién, ¿Quién sabe? sabe? ¿Quién sabe? ¿Nunca, no, lo has, pero, pero ¿nunca has juntado a, a oso con otros? Growling, no. Sí. ¿Está growling? Yeah. Sí, no, hombre, se los quiere comer. Pero ahorita no les ladra ni nada. Pues ahorita nomás está gruñendo porque sí. está afuera. Sí, porque nomás, eh, es que los que quiere que conocer. Sí, yo creo que sí. ¿Nunca lo has juntado con otros perros? Frankie sí, él sí. Y, y sí es peleonero. ¿O sí? Sí, sí es peleonero. Voy a grabar nosotras platicando. Deja ahí, Manny. Este caso viene siendo como biopolímero, aunque no sea silicón. Es ácido hialurónico. Pero la verdad no sé si a lo mejor está mezclado con algo más. O será que nomás mi cuerpo lo está rechazando. Publiqué un video diciendo que me diagnosticaron el reumatólogo y también el cirujano plástico con síndrome de Asia. Mm. Y viene siendo cuando el cuerpo empieza a atacar el producto o lo que tienes. El mal que tienes. Ajá, y el cuerpo ya no lo quiere. Mm. Entonces su, tus defensas están empezando a atacar y sí. eso resulta en dolor de huesos, dolor este, en los músculos. Mm. Ardor, porque siempre me da, me, me siento que me están quemando las caderas. Pero estoy yendo con otro doctor que me ayude para disolverlo. Y él es más simpático. ¿Qué quiere decir muy simpático? Simpático, muy agradable, muy, ¿no? Sí. O sea, muy... Como toma mi caso en serio. Y uh, él es el que, es, ¿eso pues quiere es decir? Sincero, pues. Más o bien, es sincero. Sincero. Porque simpático es alguien que te cae muy bien y que lo ves guapo y... Oh, y ves... <risa> no, no, ok, es sincero. Sincero, ok. okay. Porque cada rato este, mm. me, me pregunta cómo te sientes, cómo estás. Si va a dar a los huesos puede ser hasta un estuporosis y todo eso. Eso que, que das a... Ah, no, no, no. no. Tú atiéndete y que, es que te hagan lo que, lo que tú piensas que te, que te pueda salir bien todo, porque si no, no viene una enfermedad de esas. Tengo una cita el 20 con otro reumatólogo aquí en, los, en uh -huh. California. Les voy a decir todo menos del filler, a ver qué me dice. A ver qué te dicen. Uh -huh. Sí, no digas tú nada porque uno cuando va a un doctor tiene que, que esperar, porque él es el que te va a decir lo que tú tienes y todo, no hay que decirles uno lo que uno siente. Sí, como la doctora. Porque entonces no. Por, porque la doctora en México, ella sabe de mi caso del, del filler. Mm. Yo ando Va bien ser mala. Va eso lo que te está molestando, te, te está afectando todo. ¿Verdad eso? que sí? Va a ser sí, eso. Sí, viene. Y entre más pronto tú te, te, te lo saques o lo que sea que te lo saquen, es mejor. Porque si eso te está causando todo eso, ahorita te imaginas después va a ser peor. Algo que después ya no te lo vas a poder curar. Eso va a pasar. Que me da miedo. ¿Y eso qué va a pasar? Y ando tomando mucho medicamento. Fíjate, es que fíjate, Jenny, aparte de todo eso que, que tienes y todos tus síntomas, todo, todo lo que te tomas, todo eso te está causando. Pues una cosa es por tanta medicina, 
por ejemplo, tanto antibiótico que has tomado también, todo eso también te está causando mucho, mucho daño. Y yo no puedo estar sin medicamento. Pues fíjate, fíjate Jenny, a tu edad y ya con tanto problema así, ¿qué vas a hacer? Necesitas darte atención inmediatamente, antes de que se empeore la cosa. Porque si no, ¿qué vas a hacer? Y no te apures ni nada. Tú tómalo como una cosa que tienes que hacer. Porque también si te estresas, si te pones nerviosa, si te pones tensa o lo que sea, te está causando peor. Ready for your sound check, Bush? I am. You nervous for tonight? Yes. Why? Because I always get nervous, like my stomach's starting to hurt. Well, why? Like you're like embarrassed of what they're gonna say or think or what? No, it's just you just get nervous, you know? You just get anxiety. From all the people? Like their energy? Yeah, a little bit of everything. I mean, it's just. Like butterflies in your stomach? Yeah. Just like adrenaline vibes, you know? Yeah, no. I think you'll be fine. You always get like that and then you, you, you do good. Yeah, I always get like that in the beginning. You're gonna sleep with Grandma, okay? You're gonna stay here, okay? We'll be back, okay, Papa? I think he thinks he's going. To hug to mommy. Hug to mommy. No, no, no. You need to hug mommy. Kichi. Kissy daddy. Kissy daddy. Kissy daddy. Ready, George? Let's do this. Bye. Sí. Okay, we'll Okay. 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 Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hola, ¿qué tal? Soy Jenny69 y le quería mandar un saludo a Wakana Nightclub. It's so nice to meet you. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Ready?
Hey guys, this is what I look like the day after. Oh my god, I'm just like trying to take off all the excess stuff off of my skin. And yeah, you guys, that completes today's vlog. Well, the the trips vlog. Um, we're gonna drop off my grandma right now to her house. And we're gonna start the road back home. It's gonna be a long drive. I'm ready to take off these braids, honestly.